Oh, you know it, it's your boy Naughty and Sans here for another exciting, riveting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, your, it's boy. your boy! Today, we're gonna answer another request from Murdoch Productions. Murdoch Productions? Murdoch Productions? Murdoch! Produ Murdoch! Murdoch, did you send this video to me? Murdoch, did you send in this video? Was it you? So it wasn't that Murdoch, but the real Murdoch asked, Dude, I came onto your YouTube channel and love it. I sub because you're not boring and you know your stuff. Thank you, Murdoch Productions. I have a question. How do you keep the title moving as an object as if it were not a title and was just attached to what I was filming? I know how to do it the long way, keyframing, but adjusting one million frames takes hella long and I hate it. What I'm about to tell you may sound scary. I don't know if you're ready for it. This is the first time ever on Learn How to Edit Stuff that we're gonna dive into. After Effects! I know it may sound scary, but After Effects is pretty easy once you know your way around. So let's dive in, let's learn how to track some titles, and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun, aren't we? Oh, we're gonna have fun. Are we having fun yet? No, really, we're gonna have fun right now. Let's go. All right, guys, as you see, I have a super exciting shot of this uh, no trucks over three tons sign right outside of my house. Uh, always riveting content on learn how to edit stuff. But today we're gonna change this no truck sign to a no farting sign because that's obviously funnier. But the whole point of today's lesson is to show you how to use the tracker inside of After Effects, which can work for titles, it can work for changing out signs, it can work for a number of different things. I just want you guys to know the basics of it and then you should experiment with it yourself. Use the knowledge and create your own awesomeness or create your own no farting signs, whatever you wanna do. All right, first things first, make sure that you have your motion tracker available in After Effects. I know sometimes when it loads up, it won't have all these things in the side. I personally like to use all panels. If you go to Window Workspace, all panels, which will give you everything, and then we're gonna pull up the motion tracker. So we're just gonna be working with this section right here. All right, so we know that we want to track the sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this clip here and I'm going to go to track motion. I'm going to click track motion and then you see if I zoom in, it puts a track point right in the middle of the screen, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to take that track point. Ooh, I'm going to take that track point and I'm going to move it right into the center of the sign. I'm going to move this inside box to encompass this circle and the outside box just a little bit more than that. Perfect. Now the way that the After Effects motion tracker works is it has to track an area of high contrast. So this sign is perfect because it has red, black, and white, which all contrast very well with each other. So I think After Effects will do a good job at tracking this. Let's see. Now that we have our circle in there, we're gonna push this little button right here, which says Analyze Forward. Uh, if you want to, you can literally go frame by frame by clicking this arrow a million times, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna click Analyze Forward, and you'll see it is playing the clip very slowly, and it is tracking that sign very well. Let it finish. All right, brilliant. Now you see that there's a whole bunch of like little tracking dots and all this stuff. Each one of these things is a frame and After Effects is tracking the middle of that sign frame by frame for me so I don't have to click, drag, move, click, drag, move. That would take literally way too long. I just changed your life if you didn't know about this so hurrah. Uh, let's keep going. All right so now what do we do once this thing is tracked? If you look in the middle of my screen the track point is there. It is tracking. So this is very important. We're gonna go to layer, new, null object. And what a null object is, is basically just a blank layer in After Effects that you can store stuff in. It's like a little mini bin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna store the tracking data from that clip onto the null object, and then we can parent things to the null object, and that's how you track anything. All right, so we got our null object here. Let's rename it. Tracking info, perfect. And then we're gonna go over here to where it says motion target. Click on this clip. Motion target, edit target, and we're gonna go to tracking info. Then we're gonna click OK. Then we're gonna go down here and click apply. This little dialog box is gonna pop up. It says apply dimensions X and Y. You can do X only or Y only, but we're gonna do X and Y because the camera moves up and down and side to side. Click OK and check it out. If I hit U on here, each one of these keyframes is a position keyframe, and now all the tracking data from our clip is now attached in this null object. So what can we do with that? We're about to find out. I've got this uh, no farting, this fake no farting sign that I made. Look at that, brilliant. Little gas cloud, no farting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we are going to scale it right over here. All right, that seems good right there. And then I'm going to 
actually turn the opacity down of this so I can see the layer underneath. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mask uh, around the inside of this black rectangle that's on the sign underneath. So do one of these, come up here. Do one of these, cool. Excellent. So now if I turn the opacity back up of this, now you can see that my no farting sign is within the bounds of the original sign and it looks pretty good. But if I scrubbed, you would see that now it is no longer on the sign and it is just a layer in After Effects, but we're gonna change that right now. All we're gonna do is we're going to take no farting, we're gonna grab this little pick whip right here and we're going to tag it to the tracking info. And then we let go, and now this layer is looking to this tracking info for where it's getting its positioning data from. So now if I play this, you'll see that my sign is now glued to the sign, and it is infinitely more funny. Tracking in After Effects. Literally super easy. If you know what you're looking for, I hope that this tutorial has helped somebody today because when I learned this, it literally changed the game. All right, so now let's go back in. I'm gonna actually open up this no farting sign in Photoshop real quick. All right, there she is. I'm gonna mute the uh, no farting layer just so we have this nice gray background there. I'm gonna save it. We're gonna go back to After Effects. Automatically updates if you guys have seen my other tutorials. All right, so now we just have this blank sign that we can do whatever we want with. So you were asking about a title, so I'm going to quickly put in a title here and I'm gonna say the title of my film. And then we're gonna shrink this down. There we go. And then we're gonna just scale this accordingly. Actually, instead of the title, we're just gonna go title just to frame things up a little nicer. Rotate this just a tad bit. Yeah, scale. Title of my film, center it up with the sign right there. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. And then of course, everybody, we tag this to our tracking info. And now, when I play this, the title of my film is now on the sign. Brilliant. Guys, open up After Effects, find something to track in your shot that has high contrast, that's very important, and then you're gonna tag all that info to a null object, and then you're gonna tag your titles to that null object, and you've just saved yourself hours and hours of heartbreak and misery and just absolute sadness and just frame by frame, just tracking stuff. Nobody wants to do that. This has been another exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to learn more tips and tricks and awesome things to make your videos suck just a little bit less. My name is Nadi and Sands. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff. Subscribe to my channel, and until you do, I'm gonna have a staring contest with you. You're not gonna win this. You're not gonna win this. Alright, just subscribe. Bye.